Hi, and welcome to Motivational Monday. Today, we are talking about actions versus words. So many times, people will say what they want, say who they are, say what they're willing to do, what they're trying to accomplish. And sometimes those words do not add up to what they're actually doing. So I wanted to have a conversation with everyone and just really talk about the importance of your actions versus your words. I want to start off by quoting actually my mother. So she once told me a person's words should only tell you the actions you should look for. And basically what that means is if you tell me I'm trustworthy, I'm hardworking, I'm dedicated. Now I know that those are the actions I should be looking for from you. But your words don't really mean anything if you don't have the action behind it. That's true with just about anything. For example, I can tell you that I like working out. If you look at my actions, that's not the truth. (laughs) And it's just really not. And at the end of the day, I try to refrain from saying things like that because I know it's not true. I actually despise working out. I force my two on, myself to work out on occasion, but I really and truly just don't enjoy working out. Point blank period. Because I recognize what people say and what people do begins to divine define their character. If you have a habit of saying things and not following up with the action, your words have less and less meaning. Point blank period. Case in point, um, one of my bosses has looked me in the eyes and said, I'm here for you. I'm supporting you. Whatever you need, we're going to figure this out together. And I looked him in his eyes and said, Your words mean nothing to me because your words say one thing and your actions are doing completely opposite. Then I had another boss tell me, I will not let you fail. And I looked at her in her eyes and said, I actually believe you. And I believe her because the things that she's done have aligned with what she said. Point blank, period. If you want people to believe you, you have, hey, you can't lie. Like, let's start there. Let's start there. And at the end of the day, it's really about making sure that you're doing the things that you said you wanted to do. If you want to get out of debt, you got to stop adding up debt. And I'm speaking to myself on that one, too. I really am. Because you can't claim that you want to get out of debt and then still using the credit cards. It's a really difficult thing to do, but at the end of the day, you have to decide, do I want to do it or not? One of the things that has helped me in my life that helps me kind of get to a place where my words and actions do align is being careful about what I say yes to. So it's so funny when I, when someone asks me something and I say no, it usually catches them off guard. They're like, what do you mean? No. No. The answer is no. But when I say yes, I mean yes. So if I tell you no, it really and truly means no. And because the world has become so uncomfortable with telling people no, it comes across as if um, I'm just a awful person because no one likes to say no. But at the end of the day, if I can't do it, I can't do it. If I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. Point blank, period. An example of this, um, when I was moving from Charlotte to Maryland, I had an extra bed set and I was letting a friend have it, just have it, not even selling it to him, not even, you know, anything. Just as long as you can come get it, you can take it. And I remember him asking me, oh, you're going to help me with the, um, help me load it down into the car? And I was like, no. So he goes and takes a load down to the car. And then when he comes back upstairs, he's like, you really weren't going to help me? I said, no. Like, what? 
what about no what's confusing to you? Because at the end of the day, I had things I had to do. I was still packing. I was still cleaning up the apartment. Like this and the third. No. My actions and my words aligned. Had I said yes, I would have had to help. But I was working on things that were that I needed to get done. It wasn't like I was just chilling on the couch and said no. I was literally in the bathroom scrubbing the, the wall. Like, no. So I think the more often we learn to get comfortable with the word no, when the no is appropriate, you'll start to understand that your yeses have more value. Because what you do say yes to, it means something as opposed to just saying yes to everything. If you become the person who says yes to everything, I just know you'll do whatever. Or either I know you'll do whatever I ask regardless, or your yes means nothing because you probably won't do it anyway. So actions have to line up with your words. Point blank, period. Guys, this is your character we're talking about. Can I trust you to do the things that you said you wanted to do or that you were willing to do? Point blank, period. And that falls in line with your goals, too. You said you wanted to do this. You said you wanted to do that. You said you wanted to do that. What are you doing towards working towards it? Every year, we set New Year's resolutions. Have you touched them since? Seriously. Have you checked in at any point? Let alone, are you doing a monthly check-in? Like, what are you doing to align with the things that you said you wanted to do? Okay? All right, guys. See you next week.